And when I started Pet G is when I started having adhesive failures. You go out, do research, what is available? You know, what can I do to fix this issue? But pretty much uh, I've just seen a definite need for helping out children with prosthetics uh, and adults too. And I've noticed that there's a um, really great website called Enable and jumped in, was able to become a volunteer and um, help uh, quite a few children out. Uh, Calvary Fountain Fellowship, and they basically help sponsor children. And um, with that, I'm basically to grab clients up and help them out, build prospects for them for free. Started out with PLA and then noticed I needed something a little harder. So I did PLA Plus, which is great. You know, it's really easy to use. But I've noticed uh, I wanted to step up my game a little bit to start printing on arms and chest out my little hardness and everything else. So I upgraded my printer to a um, much bigger printer. And uh, with that, I wanted to start using PET-G. And when I started PET-G is when I started having adhesive failures. Uh, they, uh, <laughs> yeah, they turned into a, a gum pile of mess. <laughs> you go out, do research, what is available, you know, what can I do to fix this issue? Because there's nothing more aggravating than putting a 32 hour job on the table. You see it successfully being laid down and then come back 10, 12 hours later and you just see uh, destruction. I definitely saw your advertisement. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to give them a shot. And uh, um, I, no kidding, Sus. Uh, it, it was great. You know, I, I used the, the first application and uh, my, my first print, you know, kind of do something small at first and it came out well. I was like, okay. And then I tried something uh, that did fail on me and it came out great. I was like, okay, maybe this is something I could trust. And it came out good. Uh, the next and uh, then from there on, I just started using it again and again. This is called a quo arm. Um, it is an open source prosthetic. Um, so what fails and the basic beginning of this project was the forearm. Uh, as you can see, the forearm is pretty long and just, uh, as you can imagine, it's the length of, uh, you know, an adult forearm. So that's a lot of printing that took up about 32 hours of time just to print it. I kept it slow. I wanted it really super nice quality, nothing, uh, that was, you know, uh, un <laughs> low quality but for the most part it came out pretty um it came out great but yeah this is what failed the most and then uh, everything else can it came together using uh the, the polymer adhesive definitely changed my world you used to print one part at a time and then hope for the best and then print one part the next time and then the next time um then definitely you know switching over to this adhesive uh basically dev, uh, grew that confidence even more where I can print multiple parts and do one job versus 10. So that in itself was time uh, saved right there. Starting from, you know, printing with PET-G was definitely difficult. Um, getting it dialed in wasn't too hard, you know, getting the profile fix and all that. But once you kind of get that stuff down, what the unknown is definitely the adhesive to the bed. Is it going to fail? Is it going to be successful? Is it going to be successful the next time? Was it a fluke? Um, you know, you got to build up that confidence low and repeat the same action again and again. And that's where this uh, polymer adhesive definitely helped me at. Um, it helped me you know, basically turn a 10 to 15 hour fiasco of troubleshooting to where I can print a 32 hour project with uh, no problem now. There's kids out there that, you know, they, I don't know if you know, like the cost of prosthetic, it costs $10,000. And, you know, 3D printing has allowed, you know, people to have uh, this source right at their fingertips and they can print stuff like this in a uh, and, well, I shouldn't say it's for free, but how are, you know, you got materials and everything in time. But for the most part, you know, $10,000 versus 50 bucks, that's a drastic change. And that's my mission. I want to make sure that, you know, people like that that can't afford stuff like that can. But to really step up your game, I would recommend highly the, the polymer adhesive.